Hey guys, in this video we'll learn about weight group and worker pool. First we'll see the what is the meaning of the weight group. So to understand the weight group, let's take an example of we have one school trip and we wanted to be before the trip will go, we need to do complete three tasks. We have the teacher is actually supposed the main program. It assigns the three tasks to the three students. The teacher want all three tasks should be the completed before the school trip plan. So we are planning a school trip over here and before this one school trip is ready we want exactly three tasks should be done and till the time we need to wait it so to wait it actually in go language we have wait group and that is actually coming into sync package total how many tasks we have we have three tasks so i'm adding over here three so how many tasks we added over here how many wait group we have that much we need to be called the done functions so over here it will hold it till the time all three statements should be done to simulate suppose arjun is taking two second time to complete his task and to arranging the snacks. Another one is the Priya is taking the three seconds to plan the transportations. Another one is the Rahul task is to plan the activity and he is taking one second only. So the main program will wait or we can say school trip need to wait till the time all the tasks should be done. So if we'll execute this one planning the school trip then Rahul activities plan then snacks are ready and bus is booked. So Rahul taking one second so this is done Arjun is actually taking two seconds so this is done earlier than Priya Priya is taking three seconds and finally we are ready for the school trip so wait group means we can wait all the go routine should be completed till the time it will blocked and then finally if we wanted to be execute something then we can execute so this is the guys very simple example of wait group let's understand the wait group by another example suppose we have one channel we have one go routine this is anonymous functions suppose we are running a loop and suppose we are running 100 times so we want channel value should be filled one by one whatever the index will be run and finally, once the loop is done, the channel should be closed. So this go routine inside in it or one by one loop will be run and inside in it all the values, index value will assign to this channel or we can say we write on the channel and finally we are closing the channel. After this channel is filled, we are running a loop on over here and we are reading the value from the channel. Right. So let's run it. So we can see all the value we got it over here. Right. So next thing is suppose in this loop we have some work and that work is 100 time we need to do. Every work is taking some time. So to simulate the work I am making it over here suppose one job and this is taking one second job. It is a random number between 0 to 100. So this function value we will get it over here and this result we will assign into the result. Okay. Let's run it. So now every job it will take one second pause and after that result will become finally this loop will be run after that it will close the channel so let's run it so we can see output is coming after one second now we need to be make it to efficient so to make the efficient the program we will use the weight group this is our weight group and in weight group we will add the number of tasks and this will add one by one. So how many time it will run? 100. So 100 of the job will be assigned to this one. We want till the time the loop will be work. It should be wait. So it should wait and after that channel should be closed. Next thing is this job also we wanted to put in a go routine. So go functions and we'll wrap inside in it. And this is also self involved functions. So now this is also one of the go routine and it will take one second exactly till the time how many go routine it will create it? 100 go routine. And definitely we know that go routine is never wait. It will move into next go routine, next go routine. How much one go routine is taking how much time it? One second. So in hundred to run it, how much time it will take? One second only. Not hundred second because every go routine is now individually will run it. Okay, let's run it. We make it to June. So we can see. Let's run it. As we can see, result is came so fast. So hundred go routine process the result so fast so let's put some time also how much time it will take over here this is the start time and below we need to be get the remaining time this is the how much time it will take let's run it again we can see it will take one second only so that is the power of weight group let's move on the next topic guys worker pool so the next part is worker pool so as we so as we can see in the diagram we have the number of the job and these job will be processed through the buffer channel. As we know, buffer channel means it has some capacity. These are the worker. So it can be the any number of the worker also. Worker will be process this job one by one and create the result. So this concept we called as a worker pool. Means if the worker is free in a worker pool, 
then job will be assigned okay so till the time job need to wait so once the worker is free then actually we will assign this task to the worker kindly do it and worker will do and their task will be done so there is no such a keyword like the wait group this is actually completely a pattern there we are creating a worker and we are assigning the job to worker so let's see the practical so first we will create the task structure so whatever the task or whatever the job we need to do what kind of data it will hold it so it has the id and name okay and similar to that we should have one structure of the result also that is task id which whatever the task is done so that id and the output from this task is this is the structure of it in the main program suppose for example we have the organizing the school festival and we have these are the 10 tasks so this task is means this is a structure so this is the array of structure or i can say slice and we are having the 10 of the task now to organize the school festival we have three worker so these three worker distribute their work and they will make some result over here i am making the two channel this is the task channel and this is the result channel so task will be done by the task channel and the result will be created through the result channel so whatever the length we have of this task this much is exactly buffer is created so this is the same buffer and this is the same result will be created over here on both the sides so this channel has the some capacities now we need to make a weight group also. so weight group we want till the time the all the work is done so everything should be wait next thing is we need to define the worker so in the worker function we are passing the four parameter as we know we have the three kind of the channel and um, read write channel read only channel and write channel so these are the three we have signal means this is read write so this is the read only channel so we are reading the task only write only we are writing on the result over here so once particular worker task is done that is we are mark as a done after that from the reading channel we are running on the loop and how many channel we have we are running one by one we are processing it this is the task id and this is the task name to simulate work we are just time out it in millisecond so this is the simulate work so every work will be the according to random number so it will actually different different durations will take it another thing is whatever the output will become we are assigning into this variable so it will so it will return a formatted string finally whatever the formatted string we have we are actually assigned to the output result so this is the result and this result and this is the output will become and this is the task id whatever the task id we are processing so this is our worker next thing is in main program we need to start the worker pool so over here number of the workers means three worker we have and three worker we are giving this work to them this is the work you need to do this is a one by one worker id that is goes to there this is worker id and task chain is this is the this task this is result and this is the weight group so this is one by one so how many worker we have three workers so one process is done if this function is done so that it's marked as a done over here right in the last definitely we need to wait it also so all the go routine should be complete then we need to wait so this is the wait over here so start a go routine and close channel after the all work is finished exactly so we can write down directly also we can make it in anonymous or self invoke function also the final thing is so how many tasks we have we have 10 tasks right we will run on the loop over here and this is a task channel so this task channel will be assigned one by one task over here so this task we are assigning over here this task will be get it over here as a read only and it will according to how many tasks we have it will run one by one so first it will make the worker and after that once we pass it it will move one by one over so in the last definitely we need to print the result also so result we collected into result channel and finally we can write down all task is done let's run it also as we can see we have three workers so all three worker pick these three tasks okay and once the first task is completed then this worker is assigned the new task and this is the second task is done then it assign the new task and third is done then it will get the new task so one by one worker is actually picking their task once their job is done because we have only three worker and we have 10 of the job so once the particular worker is actually free or once the particular worker is free in the pool then only the new task could be assigned till the time task need to be waited so this is the concept of worker pool guys so that's it guys this is all about the worker pool and weight group thanks for watching the video see you in the next video happy coding